Today I'm going to share with you some spooky Halloween DIYs that were inspired by the movie Hocus Pocus. This is a challenge and I'll explain that in a little bit. Welcome to my channel, Freckled Mom DIY. I'm Devin. If you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, hey! Let's jump right into these DIYs. This project is super quick and super easy. I went to my Cameo and I printed off something. You'll see it in a second. White is so hard to see on camera, so I am just peeling it up. Here are some Dollar Tree brooms and a little plank of wood, and I'm just laying this down, and it is from Hocus Pocus, a broom company. This is inspired by the movie Hocus Pocus. I think this is super cute. And I did have some issues um, putting on my transfer. I'm not sure why. Maybe I need to clean it a little bit better. But some of them I did have to paint in what I missed. But that's okay. You can't even notice. And then I do a generous coat of Mod Podge. And then I have this little broom. And I put a little ribbon on it. And I hot glued it to the side. That's it, guys. How adorable is this? This is a challenge hosted by myself and my friend Ellie from DIY from house to home. And all our participants today are to make three to five Halloween DIYs and at least one has to be inspired by the movie Hocus Pocus. So let's jump right into this little table. I got this for free from the thrift store clean out that we did. Again, I'll put that link in the description if you haven't seen that video. And I am just giving this a nice coat of my chalk paint in linen white. This was super dark with the green, so I did have to do two coats. And the top of this, I should have sanded, but I didn't. So this, again, if you have any kind of design, you definitely want to sand it down. It was okay because I put the paint very thick. So I did two coats of the paint, and now we are dry and ready for our tissue paper this is my tim holtz paper that i love to use so first you put your mod podge down then you put your decoupage paper down and you smooth it out as smooth as you want it or as wrinkly as you want it and then you do a layer of mod podge over it to seal it in now i love doing this i haven't done this for a little bit now so i definitely miss doing this paper I think it is really pretty. I think it's very springy, but with this black and white one, I think it definitely fits in with fall or winter. And I just think it's so pretty and I just love it. So you could use this little tray anywhere. So I have it here to show you guys, but you could put it anywhere in your design. I think this is so adorable. I think it might go in my kitchen, but for right now, it is staying right here and it is just so sweet. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this. And let me know if you like to decoupage. So this was a thrifted box I had gotten for $3.99 at Savers. And I didn't do too much to it, guys. All I did was rip out the inside here. So this was, um, it looks like a jewelry box of some sort. And it's, I don't know, it's like a, like a coating or something. Like it's a paper. It's not painted wood. It's some kind of covering so I didn't want to get rid of the wood because I wanted this to be quick and easy so I have some paper here this was um, like from a gift bag and I just cut it to size and I'm putting a little bit of hot glue and I'm just laying it right inside now this is going to be like a box you would find at a museum like for oddities and I just think this is so cute I saw something like this very similar on Pinterest it was a little different and I definitely wanted to use what I had on hand. So this is what I came up with. And again, this is, you could do whatever you wanted for the paper. You could use your Mod Podge, you could use a glue stick. I like this, I think it's super sweet. So all these skeletons were from the Dollar Tree. It's a garland, so I took it off and I'm gonna just hot glue them in different positions to make it look like art. If you're new to my channel or coming over from the playlist, welcome. We are renovating our 1925 New England home. It's a cottage. We do home improvement, DIYs, 
gifts and decor, thrift flipping, and more. If you like these kind of videos, go ahead and subscribe. To all my current subscribers, thank you. You guys know how much I appreciate you and look forward to hearing from you. So now we are just taking a dry brush and dry brushing the Waverly ink on this. And just to give it like that distressed look, make it look old. How adorable is this, guys? I think this would be super cute if you did this like in springtime with some butterflies, but I think this is so cute for Halloween. I just think it's adorable and I love using thrift items and Dollar Tree items and making something beautiful. And it's creepy. So this is super creepy. My husband got this at a job. I don't even know where he found it, but it is creepy. So. I just brought it out to my garage. I spray painted it in a copper, rose gold copper color, and I gave it a full coat of the spray paint. And now I decided I'm going to leave the eyes. Okay, so stay with me here. And I have my dry brush and I'm just blotting off the excess paint. And now I am thinking what I'm gonna do, but I'm just gonna go over the entire pumpkin. And that's really it guys i just painted it with spray paint and now i'm dry brushing my white on it just to take some of that shine off this is halloween you could leave it if you wanted to i want it to be a little more creepy than cute but i do think this is adorable and i love the gold with the white this definitely is a little glam and it is so cute look how adorable it is and it's very sweet it definitely was more creepy when it was orange, so I definitely like this rose gold color. I think it's really sweet, and I just think it's so cute. Do you love decorating for Halloween? Let me know down in the comments if you are a decorator when it comes to Halloween. This is another creepy guy, so here he is really creepy, and he's metal, all metal. And I just went through with some crud cutter and some water, and obviously you can see Miko in the back watching me. Here I am teaching my son how to spray paint. I had shoulder surgery and I am always looking for someone to help me here and there. So I decided to teach him how to spray paint and he did a wonderful job. Although I went through and I just finished it up. So this is just a coat of white spray paint all over that jack-o-lantern. Is that the name of that jack-o-lantern? And here is a baby wipe and some antique wax, and I'm just rubbing it all over this entire metal piece. And some of it wiped off kind of easy, so I did have to go through and do a couple coats of this. I didn't want to paint it brown, I just wanted it to look old and distressed. And so you guys are going to see, we're going to add a little more. So here's my dry brush, and I'm just dry brushing gold and orange and my antique wax. So I feel like for me, that is my favorite way to antique things now. You guys have seen me do it so many times. I just love the way the orange and the gold add to it. So here is his neck where I would think more wear would go on this part. So I added a little bit more and I just think this is so sweet. Anywhere I thought it would get more wear naturally is where I added some. And then I just use my finger if I put too much on it. Um, I did go over that trick or treat down there, pretty heavy so you could see the words. And I'm just cleaning it up a little bit and taking off any pieces I don't want. How adorable is this? I mean, it's creepy, but like in an adorable way, you know? I just love it. I think it's so great and it's definitely something you don't always see. So keep your eye out. You never know when you're gonna find something that you just have never seen before. This is super creepy. I saved it for last because it's just creepy. So, and it's super simple. I just had these from the Dollar Tree and I am just taking apart all the pieces. So we're gonna stick them together and hang it a different way. So we don't need the twine. Now I can't find my big popsicle sticks. So I am just putting popsicle sticks here on the back a couple different ways and the lines didn't really line up that well um even though these are square but that's okay i mean it's halloween and creepy and old and i don't think it matters if you can see a crease so 
Here is a paint stick. This is again just to hold the back of it for security. You want to cover the back with some brown paper so people, you know, don't see that it was a Dollar Tree flip, which I mean, if that's okay with you, it's okay with me. So this is just a nice coat of Nimbus and Waverly from Waverly. It's a plaid product. And this was from Walmart. This was just a window decal and I just put it right onto the boards and I used some of the bat window decals and then I just covered it in Mod Podge. You do have to hold everything a little bit because I didn't Mod Podge down first. So definitely Mod Podge down first, then Mod Podge on the top, but I didn't and it's working fine. So it's really up to you what you think. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you are inspired, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. You can find me on Instagram as Freckled Mom, and another way you can support my channel is buymeacoffee.com. The links to contact me and my Amazon store is all down in my description. Don't forget to hit the bell so you'll be notified every time I post a new video. Don't forget, this is a challenge that I am hosting with my friend Ellie from DIY from house to home. Make sure to check out her channel as well as the playlist. My next open challenge is November 4th, room to room. Please send me a private message if you have any questions. The theme is Glam Thanksgiving. I hope you have a wonderful night and I look forward to seeing you again soon.